So I'm really excited to tell you guys all about how the Tiffany and Company Mini Cooper came to be. So I got this Mini from a good friend of ours here in Portland, Oregon, and it was this is the factory original Surf Blue. I think they call this Surf Blue. Uh, this is a Mark 7 MPI Sport Pack Mini, and these are some of my favorites. And I called up my buddy Scott Gallagher, and, and I said, Scott, I'm gonna you know prepare this car. I'm gonna do a works John Cooper works conversion on it, and I'm gonna send it out for sale. I'm gonna really trick it out, and it's gonna be beautiful. But I want you to ceramic coat it for me first. So I sent it out to Scott and he took it to his shop and he ceramic coated it and it turned out beautiful and he brought it back to me and he said, Jeremy, he said, have you noticed something about this car? And I said, what's that? And he goes, women, women dig this Mini a lot. I mean, they really like it. must be the color. I, I, huh. Well, he must be right. He said his wife came into the shop. She freaked out. She's like, I want that car. Her girlfriends came in, uh, more clients came in and they all freaked out over the car. They just thought it was beautiful. Now this is before we did the Tiffany and company theme to it, right? So the next day he had dropped it off, brought it back to the shop. And my good buddy, Eric Newland came over and I was explaining to Eric, I said, it's really, cause he's looking at the car freaking out going, this is a beautiful car. And I said, you know, what's really strange is Scott was telling me that all the female customers that came into the shop absolutely lost their minds over it. And Eric looked at me and he said, I think I know why they're really excited about this car. And I said, why is that? He says, it looks like a Tiffany box. And the light bulb went off over my head. I mean, I just immediately saw it. And I called my buddy Chris Law up and I said, hey Chris, I got another idea for a, you know, a, another custom designer build. And I said, I want to build a Tiffany and Company little blue box with a white satin ribbon vinyl wrap on it. I'm just going to wrap it in a beautiful bow. And Chris said, I got you brother. I know exactly what you're talking about. He digitized it. He created the most perfect little bow. Uh, that I wanted because I did a lot of research about Tiffany and Company and come to find out 1837 is when Tiffany and Company was founded in New York City and they even patented the color. The color is on the Pantone chart called 1837, the year that they were created. And you cannot pay for the advertising that they have on the little blue box with the white satin ribbon. So. Anyway, I sent the car out to my buddy Dean. I said, Dean, I need some vinyl graphics on it. We're doing a Tiffany and Company themed mini. And voila, uh, I got the car back. We started doing the John Cooper Works conversion on it. And I just keep throwing all the shiny bits at it with the, the chrome and the polished aluminum because what's Tiffany known for? Their sterling silver and uh, all the shiny, you know, jewelry that they create. So anyway, we came up with the Tiffany and Company mini. We started to call it Audrey for breakfast at Tiffany, Audrey Hepburn, but that didn't stick. It really ended up becoming Tiff or Tiffany. So every, everybody says, uh, what, how's the Tiffany Mini coming along? Uh, and it's kind of been a favorite. So we'll show you some of the build process that we've done on this car. We'll show you some of the highlights and some of the features that we've done, but I'd really love to hear your feedback on the Tiffany and Company themed Mini Cooper. There it is.